Donald Gee said this. He said, we ought not to enjoy deep emotion at the expense of shallow thinking. We ought not enjoy deep emotion at the expense of shallow thinking. Saying there's theology to support the evidence that the Holy Spirit is working in somebody. And there's an understanding that goes beyond just an emotional response. So are all emotional responses to the Spirit of God bad? No. Are all emotion responses to the Spirit of God working in somebody mean that somebody is faking something? No, absolutely not. Does it mean that somebody has been manipulated into crying? That's a big thing that's happening right now, especially people who are, are deconstructing from, from, from faith or deconstructing from church. They believe that they have been manipulated into doing something they didn't want to do. Maybe it's true in some cases, but in the majority, it's not, e- it's not even true or not even close. It's like saying that I'm going to a comedy show tonight. I'm going to go see a comedian but I, I, I went to the show, and I left the show, and I say, I hate the comedian. I never want to see this comedian again. I don't want to be a part of what this comedian was doing because he manipulated me to laugh. Because he changed my mind, and he used my emotions to make me enjoy my time. So I'll never like comedy again. That's like saying when you come into church, you say, oh, uh, the, the music, the words in the song made me cry. And to say, oh, wait, I was manipulating the crying. They tricked me into crying. No. The Spirit of God somewhere in, in you was, was working and mending and helping and doing something in you that you couldn't deny. And so sometimes our emotions respond. But I believe fully that Emotions are a secondary reaction. Emotions are secondary. You don't have to cry to know that God moved in some way in your life. You don't have to shout. You don't have to run. You don't have to laugh. You don't have to lift your hands. You don't have to fall out. None of that has to happen for the Spirit of God to be active in your life. But there's moments that these things are a secondary reaction to something that God is doing already internally. Yeah, sometimes it can't help, but it's like, man, I got to surrender to God. Sometimes you can't help but to lift your hands. Sometimes you can't help to respond to the things that God's doing in your heart. And that's completely good and that's